Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing my post wash routine with you. These are the conditioners that I use to wash my hair and this is the leave-in conditioner I'm going to be using. So I start off by spraying my hair with some water and the conditioners that I showed you first. I just have a bit of the conditioner, mix it with water in this little spray bottle and that's what I just use to dampen my hair and I go ahead and put in that leave-in conditioner and smooth it out from top to bottom or tip to top, whatever. I just smooth it out throughout my hair. Next, I like to oil my scalp with castor oil and tea tree oil. I found this mixture to be extremely helpful because I have super dry scalp and um, like I would just get really bad itching and dandruff and all that nasty stuff but then I discovered that this really does help As you can see here I'm trying to get this stupid knot out and basically what I do is I just tease it from the source instead of pulling you know the whole thing out that would just result in breakage obviously <laughs> Make sure to concentrate on the ends of my hair as well um, just because obviously they're the relaxed parts so they're going to be more brittle and more susceptible to dryness and breakage and you know I don't think I need to really explain all of that to you but yeah that's just what I do and then I go ahead and detangle with a white tooth comb and I comb from tip to top from ends to root that's it I come from the end to the root of my hair and I just do it gently and take my time it does take a good amount of time depending on the section of hair that you are detangling and obviously how you know conditioned your hair is to begin with and all that stuff so just be patient <laughs> I just like to get some olive oil or coconut oil just whichever I pick up first and smooth out my hair with this oil to lock in all the moisture and like I said make sure to concentrate on the ends of your hair as well it's very very important because trust me guys those are the first parts to go when it breaks and well you don't want any unnecessary breakage just like to push that whole section into a twist and then repeat the steps throughout my hair. So that's leave-in conditioner and detangle with a white tooth comb. Then I oil my scalp with a castor oil and tea tree oil mix. Then I lock in all the moisture and smooth out with either coconut oil or olive oil. 
then I put it all into a big twist. Once this is all done, I sometimes like to stretch out my hair. It really depends on how I'm going to be styling my hair afterwards. But um, I go ahead and I take down each twist and I tension dry it. So basically that's just holding the section of hair and pulling on it and then passing the hair dryer over it. I know I'm holding it pretty close, but I use cold air. I don't use it on, you know, medium or low or anything like that. I use the cold air setting. That's basically just how I stretch out my hair. So what I like to do after this stage, I like to just get some oil, like I said, either olive oil or coconut oil, and just use that as kind of a smoothing serum or just an extra bit of, you know, moisture locker to, you know, protect my hair and to give it that extra bit of shine. see the stretched part is significantly different to the non-stretched part so this really just helps me with manipulation and styling so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe and i will see you next time bye